Hello everyone, this is Tofu here, and in, th and in this video, we are going to go through the top 5 best and funniest suing stories I can find. Now, this one is not going to be like all the other ones that I'm doing, because I'm doing this with a collab. I have um, Austin is Giant Zero right beside me here. And, uh, so, I could not find... No, I could find them, but I couldn't use them, because NBC, Fox, like, news stories covered them, like, the news stories and stuff, so I won't be showing any content, but I'll tell you the stories behind them. So what we're going to be talking about in this video is basically little Billy going up to Microsoft and claiming the Xbox One X is overrated. You know, that kind of stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel, because that would really help out. Anyways, let's get into this top five. This is a top six, because there's one honorable mention, but top fives get more views. Recent studies have shown. Going into number five, we have a basically unknown YouTuber that goes by the name Bricks Today. And Bricks Today was doing a top five Nerf guns under $20, and Nerf sued them for overuse display of their equipment. And Bricks Today came back exposing Nerf in a new video. And that new video, at this time of recording, has over 3 million views. However, the mind-baffling thing about this is that he only got $300 from Nerf. Like, that's kind of weird, but money is money, I guess. I mean, if I got $300, I would be ecstatic, because I have no money right now, but... Yeah. <laughs> Going to number four, we have Sega and Sony. Sega in 1999 made the Sega Dreamcast, which looked almost identical to the PS1 that came out four years earlier in 1995. Sony sued Sega for an identical console design, and Sony ended up only getting... 500,000 to 750,000 from that ordeal. Now, the thing that I don't like about this is that Sony's console, the PS2, came out a year and a half later. Like, Sony needs to let it go. Because the, the suing began in mid-2000, and five months after the new console design came, came out for the PS2. Like, come on, Sony. Going into number three, we have a teenage gamer and Nintendo. And this suing takes place between 1998 and 2002. Samuel Harrington bought an N64 in that year and broke his thumb on the analog stick. Well, in 2002, he bought a GameCube and broke the same thumb again. And his thumb was permanently paralyzed from that point forward and is still to this day. But he got four over $4 million from, from Nintendo. And his mom was very proud. Going to number two, we have Twitch and hacking. At first, you'll feel sorry for Twitch, but afterwards, you'll feel sorry for the hacker. What happened about three years ago was that Twitch banned a bunch of huge streamers that were making a lot of money off their broadcast. Twitch claims they got hacked by, uh, by teenage streamers. However, these hacking claims were totally false, and a big streamer back in the day go, going by Op Opian Pass, and he got and he got six to seven million, which was twice what he made in a year. The weirdest thing is a so-called hacker is still in jail. I just think it's kind of weird, but I feel sorry for that guy. Going to number two, we have Twitch and hacking. At first, you'll feel sorry for Twitch, but afterwards, you'll feel sorry for the hacker. What happened about three years ago was that Twitch banned a bunch of huge streamers that were making a lot of money off their broadcast. Twitch claims they got hacked by, uh, by teenage streamers. However, these hacking claims were totally false, and a big streamer back in the day go, going by Op Opian Pass. And he, got, and he got six to seven million, which was twice what he made in a year. The weirdest thing is a so-called hacker is still in jail. I just think it's kind of weird, but I feel sorry for that guy. Real quick, before we get into our um, num number one spot, here's our honorable mention. Our honorable mention goes out to two 13-year-old kid YouTubers, Zombie36 and Froggy Hay. Zombie36 thought Froggy kept taking his stuff, so he set up cameras in the Froggy's house. And what he saw <laughs> was he was leaving stuff at Froggy's house the whole time. What makes this story really bad for Zombie is that he actually burned Froggy's most prized possessions, and the 13-year-old went to juvenile detention for a year. And then he got back, he, he actually got back two weeks ago and talked about his experience in a vlog. He has so many dislikes on his channel, because, well, he burned <laughs> Froggy's stuff, and let me tell you, they are not friends anymore. Going to number one, we have a YouTube streamer by the name of Sammy Plays, and this kid got a copyright strike for streaming Black Ops 2 Zombies with the music. Sammy ended up suing Activision because of the fact that he couldn't use the music that many big streamers with lots of cash use. Big streamers pay money to Activision, and if you don't make money, you're worthless to the self-centered company. That is a quote from Sammy himself. Sammy went from 19 subscribers to over 300,000 and made over $10 million from that whole ordeal. 
these are all the clips that I have for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also leave a like and subscribe on one of Austin Stein Zero's first videos because I really thank you for being a part of this video. And also comment what you want to see next in the top five or the top ten. Goodbye.